I, I'm from Switzerland, um, <clears throat> sort of struggled to figure out what to do with my life or, or you know, find my center. Uh, eventually had, went to the military, found out that I could become a bodyguard um, and go into the special, in, the, in these kind of special forces, then joined that and found out I ended up being a, a bodyguard for the Pope in the Swiss Guards. Mm. And kind of th that led, at first I wanted to leave again, but you couldn't. And then I actually did meet, I, I protected John Paul II and I did meet him while well, I met, you know, if you, it's like the Secret Service, you, you're with the person 24 seven. So that had a huge change in my life. A pivotal inflection point in my life was to meet him and him uh, in a sense, ministering to me like he evangelized me quite frankly. And I, um, I found my faith in Jesus Christ through John Paul II by him introducing me and teaching me to pray and so on. Um, and then I, uh, I also, I sort of had uh, big questions in my life during those very pivotal years, met my wife in Rome, who was American or is American, and that I didn't speak a word of English. I was 23. I didn't speak a word of English. And I'm like, well, I do the thing that you ought to do. And I, I actually introduced her to John Paul II and he thought it, she was a great young lady. And so, so I left the guards and I moved to, I, I pursued her to America and, and uh, started, the only way in was to study, and, but, I, but a, a school gave me a break so I could start studying without even speaking English. But they just let me in and gave me a semester. I learned English. Then I, met, I went to Boston, Massachusetts and I, I started to, aside from going to school, get involved with software startups. They, they, we're talking about 89, 90. Mm -hmm. And my first company that I was privileged to be in was called FTP Software, and we ported TCP IP, the, the internet protocol, to the PC. It was, I mean, amazing success is an understatement. Like, we brought the internet to the PC. I, and before that, I've never, I had never used an inter, a, a, a computer, never mind the internet. And then, and we brought them public and and I sort of lost yeah I kind of lost the joy of it and and I met another couple uh, in in uh, in Boston Jim and Janet Baker and they invented speech recognition so then I was uh, part of Dragon Systems uh, and again a rocket ship going through uh, we ended up selling the company in 2000 I think it was 2000 had mixed experience with that because the company we sold it to was uh, fraudulent. Mm. And so we saw you sell a company for $600 million and you find out that the company is fraudulent and you get back exactly zero. Mm. Uh, that's a big hit in terms of your questioning uh, the free market economy, all that kind of stuff. That gave me a point to go back and sort of say, okay, what am I not understanding? Is, is the economy, is capitalism, is this evil or not? And I went back to two sources. On the one hand, I went back to John Paul II. And on the other hand, I decided to run, a, I didn't want to go to MBA anymore, but I, I ended up running one of, uh, Harvard Business School has a consulting firm called Monitor Group or called Monitor Group. And I ran one of their subsidiaries, I actually spun it out. And I felt like if I'm running this company and with, you know, it's that's what that was my MBA, if you, I wanted to go and find out, it did, Am I misunderstanding something here? <laughs> like, am I playing the wrong game? Mm -hmm. And on the spiritual side, I want on an, and moral side, I wanted to find out from my church, from Christianity, from Catholicism, is this intrinsically evil, right? I brought the two. So I did both of this. I got a master's degree in ministry and I did this uh, uh, MBA by running this company called On the Frontier OTF Group. And the the whole thing came back together in a book that I wrote called The Pope and the CEO with my answers in it. That led to uh, the, the the Pope's university here in DC. And in, in, in the Pope has a university in every country, pretty much every country in the world. And the Pope's university is saying, hey, this is very interesting. We'd love to build a business school around that idea or, or you know, me along other people. And I actually moved to DC to help build this business school at the Catholic University of America. And that's what I've been doing for the last 10 years. And I followed that up with with the art of principle entrepreneurship, which is what I'm teaching, you know, it's sort of the development. And the reason why I'm sitting in this seat is also because when I came out with this book, there were two other people who, who came out with books at the same time. And one of these books I read 
And it was exactly saying what I'm saying, but from another person's perspective. And that other person was Randy Hine. And so I always felt this kinship with Randy because we're saying the same thing. And we found the same thing through our respective uh, experiences in life.